welcome to yet another CC overview. The Coastal Collection Part 2 is now complete. It's been out for a week on Patreon Early Access already. Uh, the public release will follow on the 6th of April. So you can get your greasy mugs, m mugs, mittens, mug. No, I don't know what I was saying then. You can get your hands on it <laughs> then. Um, and if you want to like peruse the set and see all the images and investigate them and find out all of the details, you can go to houseofharlings.com and uh, the set is there, the whole overview of it with all of the details and like the pack requirements and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get into this. So part two is all about exterior. Again, last time was windows and doors, window boxes. But I didn't get to do half of the stuff I wanted to do, which, for example, would be shingle and siding. I don't know if you noticed those already. Uh, yeah, so uh, with the shingle, time was running out in the month. I didn't have time to do my own original shingle, but we did have time to do a complete recolor of um, the shingle that came with cats and dogs. Uh, this one is base game compatible. But it comes in a whole load of colours, so if you want a white shingle, you can have a white shingle. Uh, we've gone through, we always have like this off-white as well. It appears there's a huge blue tint in Brindleton Bay, so stuff does appear a little bit duller, but I wanted you to be able to use it in other worlds as well, so I didn't like over yellowfy everything <laughs> to make it look like it. Uh, so we have this colour, which is really like a warm grey, but in here it looks like a cool grey. We've got, yeah, loads of different colours. Um, all of the same colours that came in the windows and doors are also available for this siding. Let me show this. I think the sun is on here. That's a better view. Um, yeah, so if you want a black one, they've got black. A whole load of like different blues as well, because I think those are very important as well. It's coastal and pink as well. And also in this, I've included like the normal wood tones. So um, lots of time I see bare shingle as well, unpainted. So I wanted to provide that as um, an option as well. So that's all that. Let me put that back to the blue, otherwise my eyes will burn at me. So um, apart from the shingle, we also have a fully new original siding. I had enough time to do a siding and I was so happy I managed to do this. Um, there is a siding in game, there's like Let's show on this there is this one which is almost not siding it's kind of it just looks like maybe like tongue and groove boards together um yeah and then there was this other siding that comes in and it's just i don't want to be rude but it looks a little skinny um and alpha ish uh i realize it looks kind of alpha -ish because they put in all these little dink details but it repeats every tile so there's so many dinks in your siding um that your eye is just it's a little bit too busy so yeah i i basically went for an in between those two so the size of this is like right in between the two uh you have this nice white and then we have all the same colors we have like this off-white is this a different class of the different room let's paint it up here the off-white or the greys oh this one shows the color a lot better than the um the shingle actually so all these colors and then we have like the blues you can have red um i expect so like some scandy scanty farmhouse vibes with this as well or even just like barns would be red as well american barns would end up red and you can have a pink if you like and then I also have it in wood. So you can't tell it here, it's so washed out. You can't you can't see that that one's a wood tone, but this one, you can see, here we go. You can have like the wood tones. So you've got like the wood grain and everything in there. There we go. So yeah, brand new siding. Hopefully that you'll get a good use out of it. There you go, I thought, I thought there was an error there, but no. The colour was weird because I had hovered my mouse. So yeah, you can have all of that. And uh, to find these, you're going to need to go hunting in the wallpaper section because unfortunately, uh, when you search just by coastal, 
it does not show up. So I think those are the, I think those are the two. Oh, that and one more other. I'll do the unsearchable things first. So those two sidings. Then I've done this little setup here. Just don't don't pay attention to anything else. But these columns. So these columns are new. These are fully functional. Oh, they can't go down because this is the shortest wall height. But let me click that. Uh, yeah. So these are fully functional columns. Shout out to Felix Ander that helped me uh, do these because I did not know how to do them and he remembered them, believe it or not. Uh, so yeah, they have wood tones and then it has all of the paint colours as well so you can have your matching column to your door and your siding and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the column. That one slides up and down. And then we have this here trim. So I noticed in a lot of the places when they had like the end of the gable, they had this trim that just kind of came around it. It's just to fill the gap between uh, the roof and the wall. It's a nice little like decorative finish. So this one comes in several different pieces. You have like the, oh, I can't spell coastal. I wanted to show you them in the catalog. These have all these pieces. So you have outer corner, you have the left ending, the right ending, the inner corner and the straight piece. So you can put those around. And I designed this so that it actually goes into your wall. Cause believe it or not, uh, these roofs, they they finish in the middle of the wall, which I never realized before. If you pull the eaves in, it finishes in the middle of the wall instead of like flush with the wall. So I've built it a little bit. It goes halfway into the wall, so it perfectly covers up that gap. The bonus thing about that is actually because there isn't a spandrel in this set, you can actually put this, say builder, let me, let's just quickly do this as an example we'll get our um our column what's great about having the trim like that is you can actually use it as a spandrel if you put it on either side of a wall so if we just do this normally with uh like pieces sometimes you they only finish at the wall depth but these ones go into the wall so when you take them away they actually meet perfectly so you have your spandrel like that if you want it to be um, yeah, and so this intersects perfectly with it. So yeah, if you if you want a spandrel, just put them back to back and you've got yourself a spandrel. Then let's go on to the next one, which is this here fence. So um, I was thinking about a functional fence, but I thought I actually prefer using the debug fences. You can get up a lot closer to the lot edge and things like that. So this fence comes in several pieces, um, including a railing as well. So you have a, like a one tile repeat, it's this one. You are going to need to use move objects if you want to put the posts in uh, because they intersect. I was going to remove like the footprint, like for example, debug fences are super long, but they only have a tiny little footprint in the middle. But that also means that your sims walk through the fence. You know, you ever noticed it? It doesn't count as a real fence. Your sims just walk on through. But because these are proper items with footprints, your sims know that they cannot walk through it. So they will never walk through it. They will look for the gap and go around and route properly. So uh, yeah, I kept the footprints on. You're going to use, need to use move objects for that one to make sure that the posts can go in and stuff like that. So this again comes in all the colors. Oh, I forgot to say on this trim comes in all the same colors as the um, other items. And then also it has the woods as well. So you can you can do a wooden trim as well. And then the same with this apart from this has some, a couple special ones where it has the white with a wooden top bit. Uh, so the light and the mid and then it also has a black with a mid wood and also a warm wood so I feel like this looks a bit more like industrial if you get what I mean so that's a that's a whole other vibe on itself but again so many different colors that you can use and play with and I would love to see all of like the mismatch stuff you don't not everything has to match I just I think there's enough variety in here that you can kind of mismatch have pink this and blue that and all that kind of good stuff so yeah there's the single tile one there is a double tile so this accent is actually called a 
Chippendale, Chinese Chippendale fence. Um, apparently it's inspirations from like Chinese, like chinoiserie kind of things. I'm not seeing it so much in this design, but some other designs I can see the reference. Um, so you can place these down. You also have the post as well that fits. And then there is also a railing. For this railing, um, you need to put your foundation up. If you're gonna use it like this, the foundation is up in an increment of two. So um, because that is half a tile, you need to go up in two increments. So we have it on the back here. This is just pull the foundation up twice and you get it to the first increment. So every two pulls up of the foundation equal um, the right height to add in another one. To add in the railing for the next, say if you did four increments up, you would just need to press the nine key and raise it up. Um, I think this is kind of good for when we do get to, this can be used in the interior. So when there is, I, I had half planned to do fences. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna end up doing it. But um, yeah, you can also put this up uh, your stairs in the home as well. And it's good because then you can just put a railing on one side. Now I have heard, the EA in the patch right before right before growing together comes out I was gonna say get together then oh um, are doing an update to try and half hide that whole railings coming out of walls issue that we always have because railings can't be applied to one side so I think they're gonna try and sort it out but you know when the sims say they're sorting something out and the reality slightly different so yeah um that's that's the railing that matches with it lots of wood tones and all that jazz uh then i suppose I sh while i'm here i should show the other fence so this is another fence i thought you need a good back garden fence right my favorite fence would be the one that comes with uh was it patio i think it was per was it perfect patio i'm now oh there it is I think it is perfect patio right this one it's such a nice height i thought and i wanted to do something similar to this so i used the proportions of that one and made my own uh i saw these around so you've got this little gate here this one again is in pieces you don't pull them along they're pieces so again move objects is going to be your best friend um i do highly recommend putting move objects on for building in general uh but then you have this gate here this one What's different about this gate is that it doesn't require a fence because this isn't a fence. It just free places wherever you want it to. Now, as a side effect of saying that it doesn't require a fence to snap into, when it does snap into a fence, it does not look cute. It does not, the cut out does not look cute. As you can see, it does not cut out properly. It just does this random slither in the middle. So I'm gonna say, do not mix and match this <laughs> with other uh, fences because it's not gonna look cute. I would highly recommend just using my fence um, and playing around. I don't know why you would wanna mismatch the gate to the fence, but you know, just in case you did att attempt it, I'm just gonna warn you. Again, all the same glorious painted colors and then we also have the wood tones as well in this one and i think my favorite detail like the hardware is very similar to the front door that we had but this one is a little bit more rougher kind of dark uh gray metal and again you know you can lock it from the inside and all the hinges and stuff and the details on that so yeah i did change it i was like why does this not match it's, it's a different color Oh, there's a helicopter going over. I hope you can't hear that one. So, next one. I thought I hadn't done much this this month, but apparently I've done more than I thought. So, next is this arbor. An arbor, it's like, I see these. When I look at images of Nantucket, all I see is arbors. Arbors for days. I can very much imagine you putting uh, this fence with it. It's, oh, I just want this. Hold on, let me go this way. Um, where are we? Yes, this. So pick, oh, it's on the diagonal. Nothing ever fits on diagonal. <laughs> there we go. We put this and then you can put your arbor in. Like I see them a lot in front of uh, fences like that. You can imagine that on your front garden and everyone has to walk through. They can definitely walk under that. Don't worry, they can. I've tested it. 
and uh, yeah so it comes in different wood tones I found these amazing flowers uh, from what was it romantic garden stuff and uh, totally stole them uh, to add on to this because I just thought it needed this extra item of greatness so yeah it comes a whole load of colors I've changed up the flowers for the different colors so they kind of coordinate best so you go through and I've got all these different colors we have our like dark gloomy one with the pink I think that looks really cute um, and then the blues go through so as you can see all the colors change if you have the pink that's very romantic and then this like stronger pink we still have the red and then we also have the wood tones as well so yeah all of that on there again another black one but with white flowers this time and then in all the same swatches we actually have a wedding arch now uh someone suggested this on instagram was like it would be great if that was a wedding arch and i was like duh why don't i think of that so yeah, your sims, fully functional. Your sims can come here and get married. This is a wedding arch. And um, yeah, I play tested my sims, renewed their vows to play test and it all works perfectly. Base game again, of course, like, like a lot of the set. And yeah, I just, I'm really happy that I managed to get a wedding arch in. I know we had quite a few added in um, with my wedding stories, but it's always good to be able to offer an extra little bit so next one well I'm just rolling through these as I said this one was a heavy focus on um, a heavy heavy focus on activities on the outside so we have all these kind of building components uh, that again actually the wedding arch is an activity uh, so yeah the main star of the show I'm just gonna start off with this one for activities would be the playhouse now Annie is here those that came to the streams will know that Annie is now okay okay um, Annie was originally in the playhouse but I forgot that she's a mannequin and an object and she blocked her little toddler's way in so I had to take her out so she's just just to the side so maybe she isn't okay anymore um yeah so Annie's here we've decorated with a bit of clutter but this playhouse requires dream home decorator to be functional it uses the tuning and everything from the indoor play tent that was there but yeah your sims will go in here play make believe they'll play together and yeah this item was most definitely a labor of love it took five days to make and um it's an item I shall never be making again, but it comes in a whole load of swatches as well. I think I might, I hope I don't kick them out by changing the swatches, but we have a white one, we have woods. So you can see like the awning and the uh, mailbox change colors and all that good stuff. So we have lots of different like combinations. That was a very typical coastal one. We've got pink ones, we've got red, and then these different combinations. And then one last, jazzy little one here's here's our full coastal vibes we are right by the seaside um here one of the details is it looks like maybe this should be a little like shop so we've got a menu here you know what you can order just in case you want your kids to play make-believe and be selling stuff out of here a little sign everything that's kind of added on like this is kind of wonky you know the playhouse is perfect but the extra details are a little bit wonky so this one is a little bit wonky and then we have like the bunting over this side and that's on you know it's not quite straight you know it's higher at this side so that's a bit wonky and yeah I had fun making this but it was one of those items where you were like praise praise the lord that this is finished because I shall never be doing one of these again so yeah I hope you enjoy it um yeah that's it and then so to go with this we did a sand pit now the sand pit does this is on the diagonal so I've had to alt place it in actually do you know what I should show them playing in here that's why I put them in here to start off with they'd just be playing in here um so yeah I I all place this in because I put this on the diagonal but when you're it's normally on the straight uh, this will sit right beside it I designed it to sit in right next to it and your your toddler can go in here and and play in the sand now I think this area is a little bit too um, small uh, cat 
uh, it's a little bit too small to actually uh, build sand castles. I think sand castles need a bigger space in order to build and for you, them to do the animations. So this one is just for like playing in the sand so toddlers can play in the sand by themselves so can kids rather than building sand castles. Um, that is a feature that came with Island Living, the building the sand castles part, also writing in the sand. So this um, is actually just the surround and what you do is you paint the sand inside you do the old terrain paint and put it in there and your sims will be able to if you have those packs be able to build sand castles so i thought that was a good way of allowing extra functionality but also if you don't have those packs then you it just looks cute right so uh yeah this one doesn't have a pack requirement per se but if you want the functionality then you're going to need those packs so this one comes in all different wood tones uh, really it was to match in with this playhouse because this uses all wood tones and it's got every uh, kind of surround wood tone that will match in so that's that one then we have this little clutter item you might have missed you might think of as in-game this little bucket and spade um, so a whole different load of colors and you'll think well there's two colors of everything two two swatches of the same thing no we have one swatch empty bucket one swatch full of sand so you have those different things like kind of cool element for gameplay and all that good stuff so yeah that's the bucket and spade let's go through all the different colors that you can have there we go quintessential one I think the yellow and the red um, and then uh, as I said this is a bit too small of an area to have for the uh, building a sandcastle so we did a bigger one for you that's what this one was this one you can build a full sandcastle in here if you want to I suppose I should get them to do it I'm gonna set them I'm gonna set them to to start doing it I think he's he's not busy so I'll get him to go so yeah, they can build a sandcastle and it all matches in. It's very cute, right? So yeah, all the same swatches as the other one. And again, on the side here, I forgot to mention, on the side here, there's lots of slots. So you can put any kind of decor you want. And of course, this is just the ground. So you can place in um, any decor pieces that you want. Again, on the playhouse, there is actually decor slots on here and on here. So you can decorate it. These are from kids room stuff the puppet uh they're a debug item for the puppet what is it puppet show thing yeah that's where those come from oh and she's gone here to play in the sand as we, as we asked her to before let me go here you go we can play so yeah she can play in the sand in there next next to the uh playhouse and then another item i can't believe i'm still going would be i suppose i can say seating outdoor seating i thought was essential again another activity you can socialize outside um the extra bits are the pergola from jardine again these are from jardine as well and uh yeah we have seating a side table and uh this is two of them put together but this is a coffee table Again, a whole load of swatches, of course. I'm really happy with this. They look super squishy and comfy. So yeah, it goes through. I made sure we had different combos for each different type of wood um, color that you have. So it goes through. So you have the two seater, you have the three seater, and you also have the armchair. Now I'm gonna show you on a few of them, the ones where they have the thinner stripes. Let me, let me do this one, the thinner stripes. Um, you can also, I've made sure that there's a plain swatch option for it as well. That's that one, right? Yeah. So this is the plain swatch option. So you can not always have, that's quite a strong stripe there. You don't have to always have the stripe, but also on this one, on the three seater, that is built in. So it's not three of the stripes. You've also got the uh, plain one built in. So you can kind of mix and match when it comes to those stripe ones so that you're not all the same cushion it makes it a bit more alive and all that stuff um so yeah that's for all of the swatches that have the thin stripes it goes like that but i am a personal fan 
of the fatter stripes to be I love a good good thick stripe on my cushion you know so uh, yeah those look super squishy and then we have the coffee table that's to match it here with all the wood tones also used in the seating and all the same with the end table and now on to I think this is second to last item I've done it sunken here but is a fire pit I think that it's gone out now so I'm gonna get her to relight it all right can you add a log there we go so after ex I did release this originally and after extensive testing we found out that the seating was very flammable every time every time they were using the fire pit <clears throat> my seating was alighting uh, so we can't have that after lots of testing I found out in game that basically every I thought maybe it was all outdoor furniture didn't catch a light when it was hooked to a fireplace but apparently it's only the outdoor retreat seating when hooked to a fireplace that doesn't catch a light so uh yeah i i stole their tuning because it's something in the tuning it's not a tag or anything i was racking my brain to try and find out what it was that was making them not flammable uh by in the game and i've managed to apply that to the armchair and to also the two-seater now strangely enough the fire pit you can snap a three-seater sofa to it um I don't know why because also you can only ever use um, one of the seats so this really only acts as one seat only the middle seat will be used if you try and put that there and make another sim come to the fire pit they won't it, they, everyone needs their own seat so even the two-seater one only ever acts as one chair so you're actually better off putting armchairs around the fire pit but for aesthetics you may want to put different sized ones um, so I, I'm gonna tell you the the armchair and the love seat are are fire retardant not so much for the three-seater so use the three-seater on the on a fire pit at your own risk as as you do all the other outdoor chairs that aren't from outdoor retreat <laughs> okay uh, but yeah this one comes in like these metal tones we have like this bronze and stuff um, it kind of meant to look like a kind of verdigris copper bronzy um, and then we also have these plaster options that's all of those and uh, of course as this is a fire pit it does require outdoor retreat to be functional um, in the Jardine before we made it into a, just a fireplace but this one I wanted the activity to actually happen so this one is a um is actually a fire pit so it requires outdoor retreat and again you've got all the armchairs slotted into it and hopefully your sims will not catch a light because that would be most horrific i've had several fires as well and it, it was not fun now i think this is the very last item i have to show yeah i think it is would be this cute little water feature so in making the fire pit I was like this would make a good water feature so that's what we did made it into a water feature you can see here it's got like a nice little plug spout thing at the bottom and it just gently bubbles away so you can put that anywhere you like but a nice little decorative feature and apparently um, Evie has found a scallop shell well she's 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 digging I don't know where to but she is uh, so yeah that is everything oh again the same swatches as the um, are we still making this oh that was what a sculpture look at that Stu artiste or what exactly uh, so without further ado I'm gonna say goodbye uh, and for another month I am streaming part three of the coastal collection on YouTube basically daily um, I will be I took a day off today to record this but I will be live again uh, tomorrow on Monday 3 30 p.m. UK time which is what 10 30 Eastern time in America yeah that's New York time just got my floating bit there and uh, it is kitchen month kitchen month is a thing so I'll be back next month well 
yeah, next month with the overview video, but you can hang out and help us make very important decisions. Uh, everyone that does come to Zoom gets to put their own little input in and help make it a great set by the end. Uh, so yeah, I hope to see you all very, very soon. Once again, uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll be back very, very soon. Bye guys. Thank you.